Welcome back to Trending Global. We are going to talk about our amazing government called Kenya. So as you all know, during our Independence Day on 12th December 2023, our able president, Dr. William Samoye Arab Shuto, announced that Kenya will be the first country in Africa continent. And uh, also, I think among the first in the world to be a visa-free country, visa-free country. And within three weeks, we are here announcing to you guys that yes, indeed, the first ship of uh, trip of people who came, they came visa-free. And they have visited our country and it is something that is being adopted. And we are welcoming all of you. Welcome to Kenya. We have the best tourist sites in Kenya. We have a lot of investment opportunities. We have a young and brilliant population that will help you make your dream come true in business, in beauty, in corporate world, in anything that you want to invest in, as long as it's legally binding by our government and international laws. So how our free visa free operates is we are using electronic travel authorization, which now is much easier. So the advantage is that our travelers, our visitors, our tourists, our investors will have to come to Kenya. Number one is that initially before the removal of visa, there were 51 countries which had access to our borders without having a visa in African Union, of course. But right now, uh, every other country have the same access. Do you want countries? Uh, yes. Yeah. to Kenya visa free? Yes, initially. But right now, all the countries in the world have the same access. Now here's where I, I will say that this looks like a scam coming from an African perspective. The, pre the, the previous system meant that a Nigerian can come to Kenya without buying a visa, not paying for any of these electronic payment service. It's actually visa free. So for the Africans, Kenya already had a real visa free. They could just come. Now, this new system. It had a limitation though. You didn't limit? finish me. But the limitation of the visa was these 51 member countries could not fill any documentation that our government will not like. We have how many Nigerians coming to Kenya? How many Rwandese coming to Kenya? How many Tanzanians? You know, miners, grown up business people, working people. They couldn't feel anything because they can just come with their vehicles. Have you not noticed like in the city, we have vehicles number plates from different African countries. Right. But this one now will eliminate that, that the government, the ministry or the state department of immigration will have real data because yes, they, it is visa free. They are not paying for the ITA, electronic tran transfer. Uh, it's ITA in short. They're not gonna pay for it, but they will fill the documentation to fill the details that we are coming to Kenya to visit for two years and we are running a business, you know? The government will be aware that how many Nigerians are in oh, no, Kenya. No. See, that's now I want to make a correction. The East Africans won't be paying for it, but the Nigerians now will have to pay for it, just like everybody else. So Africans are saying this is a scam because it means Americans, uh, Caribbeans, and all the other people around the Europeans, they will now have access to Kenya without having to apply for visa. And they also have a cheaper rate instead of $50, they're paying $30. But now for the Africans, the Nigerians, uh, who, and also I believe the Jamaicans, right? The people that already had an agreement with Kenya, they now have to pay $30 into this new system. No, they're not. The 51 are still maintained. But the difference is they will have to fill the forms now electronically. You, they, yes, they're not paying for the $30, but they will fill the form so that the government will get real data. As you know, you, we both know, we have so many Nigerians who are scammers around here in Kenya. Because why? How did we not know they are scammers? It's because they just came. They didn't, they didn't fill any document because it was visa free. But right now, yes, they, can, they come without paying. They are exempted from the dirty dollar, but they have to fill why they are coming for how long are they going to be here, how big is their family, how they're going to maintain themselves here in Kenya. So that we can be able, if in case someone ran away from uh, custody in their country, in their African country, when Kenya is being told, hey, 
we, we need someone that is supposed to be in jail. We have the record who that person is. But as you speak before this, we couldn't actually, because they were just coming with their cars without using flights. And you can't really get it data of exactly because it's only the number plate that be registered by the border police and the driver the rest of the people being carried by the car will not be registered so that was a challenge but this one is eliminating it okay i agree with this uh, with the part that kenya is one of the most uh, advanced countries when it comes to um, technology like actually adopting early adopters of technology we have mpesa which is one actually the first real mobile transfer system in the world, everybody mm -hmm. has copied it. Apple Pay, Google Pay, all these are just yes. uh, aspects of M-Pesa. So I agree with you, Kenyans are very early adopters of technology. Okay, so the, the first um, flight or ship, whatever it is, of people came into Kenya in the 2024. Mm -hmm. How has it gone? Has it been successful? Does the system work? Yeah, so I want to give you real data. The first uh, electronic travel authorization, people who applied, by January 4th were 9,787 foreigners who wanted to visit Kenya. And out of those, they, after four days, 4,046 were approved and they managed to arrive in Jomo Kenyatta International Airport on 4th of this month. The remaining are still being processed because as I said, they have to check a lot of security background of this individual. But the amazing thing is, the initial visa used to take 14 days, but this one takes 72 hours maximum for you to get a feedback that or oh, you, your flight will be this date. Also, because of the time difference, that is one thing that is also a challenge. You know, African have different time zones. Nigeria is one hour, two hours behind Kenya. Uh, USA is, Kenya is 12 hours ahead. So there's also that time difference. So the government is adapting a 24 hour system where they employ people to have day shift and night shift so that every application that comes anytime it will not be missed. If someone is urgently, they'll be served within the 72 hours that are put in place. Also, the, the, the physical going to the embassy to do interview is being eliminated in this process because all the questions you, 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 you go being asked in the embassy previously, now you're just gonna answer them electronically and no one is gonna charge, judge you of your response. Another advantage is that there are high chances, like there are zero chances that you will not come to Kenya as long as you don't have criminal cases in this new system. Okay, so this system really is to say, okay, none of these uh, miscellaneous reasons. Yes, yes, like the one you're okay. being asked, are you sure you'll go back to your country? And then you're like, ah, it depends whether there's a climate or they get a boyfriend right. or girlfriend. No, this one is not going to bar you because you I answer see. that way. I so there are, there are hundred zero chances that you're being told you cannot visit Kenya because you answered those miscellaneous questions wrongly, as long as you have pure records. So do you think this is the right time for black Americans to come? Yes, 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 yes. So let me talk to our brothers and sisters or people who have the same skin, brown skin and black skin like us. So Kenya has a one-stop shop for investment. It has research all the opportunities in our country both the private and public sector and it has put it down under kenya investment authority and once you arrive in kenya you go to their offices next to the city it's in upper hill they will take you through all the sectors and the investment opportunities and how you can set it up be it in a special economic zone be it in a in a export processing zone authority, be it just a startup, you want an enterprise and you want a partnership with a Kenyan, they have all those opportunities. So the chances of being scammed are almost zero. They are very minimal. Initially in the previous government, there was no this one stop shop whereby an investor who is a foreigner comes to Kenya and they want to invest in green energy and you're told go here and then they give you all the opportunities for green energy or for carbon credit. Now we have it. So. There, there are minimum rates of you being scammed by a Kenyan or anyone who knows the government by lying to you like, oh, you know, pay me 100,000 Kenya shillings and then you get this. So there are so many opportunities 
and me having a very close working relationship with them, I'm telling you what is there and what I've experienced. And you are all welcome. And also, beside those who are coming to Infest, we have the best site, the seven wonders of the world. We have the big five in our great Maasai Mara. We have the movement of one beast from Kenya to Serengeti in Tanzania. We have amazing landscape, amazing climate. So for those who want to do weddings in Kenya, we have a very pretty hotels and spaces that you can do your amazing weddings, your anniversaries, your birthday, your baby showers. You are all welcome to experience our beautiful Kenya. Thank you very much.